Happy Respiratory Care Week, everyone. This week's HQ challenge deals with tracheal shifts. So basically, which of the following is an example of atelectasis, either A or B? And now what I want you to note with each one of these, we have a tracheal deviation. If you look at this one, I'm just gonna draw the trachea for you or outline the trachea. There's the trachea and it's shifted away from midline, okay? And then this one, you also see that tracheal shift away from midline, right? Because if it was midline, it would be right in the center of the spine between the clavicles. And so both of these have shifted to the patient's right side. But I'm specifically asking which one of these is atelectasis. So from your patient assessment, um, lectures, you remember that anything is that is inside the lung, like atelectasis, pulls the trachea towards it. So now I have to say, okay, when I look at this chest x-ray, which one is actually deviating the trachea towards the affected area? And it's this one right here. So this patient, that whole entire right side, that's massive atelectasis. And as those, air, as those alveoli collapse, they collapse and they literally just kind of suck that trachea towards that affected area. It brings it over to the atelectatic area. Whereas this one right here is actually a pleural effusion. A pleural effusions, remember, are in the pleural space. And if the pleural space gets compromised enough, what that fluid is actually doing is pushing that trachea away. As that fluid expands, it pushes the trachea away from the affected area. So definitely while the insides of the lung, as far as looking at black and white, may look the same, this one's atelectasis, this one's a pleural effusion. Hope that's helped. See you soon.